Well, we have some breaking news. President Joe Biden has tested positive for COVID-19. His team announced uh, just a short while ago. This is, I believe, his first go round with uh, the disease. I'll read this statement from Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre. This morning, President Biden tested positive for COVID-19. He's fully vaccinated, twice boosted, experiencing mild symptoms. He has begun taking Paxlovid. Consistent with CDC guidelines, he will isolate at the White House and will continue to carry out all of his duties during this time, he has been in contact with members of the White House staff by phone this morning. will participate in planned meetings at the White House via Zoom, uh, consistent with White House protocols, which go above and beyond CDC guidance. He'll continue to work in isolation until he tests negative. Once he tests negative, he will return to in-person work. And then the White House will provide daily updates on his uh, condition per standard protocol for any positive case at the White House. The White House Medical Unit will inform all close contacts uh, of the president during the day today, including any members of Congress. So his last test was on Tuesday and he was negative at that time. So there you have it. President Biden uh, has COVID, um, probably not something to worry about too much, even though he is in a, in a more at risk category, given his age, um, he is vaccinated and boosted and you know has the best medical care of anyone in the world. And it sounds that so far he's not, um, he's, he doesn't sound extremely sick. So um, don't, don't know what else to, to, to say about it. It's, you know, he's finally got it. I, I've long taken the view that it's just a matter of time for basically everyone on earth before they get COVID that you can, you know, you can delay it. You can, obviously you can do things to be more cautious if you want, but you know, people, um, I, I, maybe this is, I, if there's anyone out there who still thinks, well, I'm vaccinated and I do everything right and I wear a mask everywhere, so I'm going to be safe from COVID. I hope that's the nail in the coffin for that thinking because, like, this is a super highly contagious disease. Um, you, you, you can do whatever, you know, follow whatever protocols you want, but, like, it's not just bad people get it or something. You, everyone can get it. Um, so. And I'm sure that he'll have m milder symptoms because he's been vaccinated and boosted. Yeah, I'm interested though about this. Uh, so he it says he's taking Paxlovid. Do you know? Uh, have you heard about the kind of the Paxlovid rebound um, uh, whole thing? Have you heard about that, Katie? Mm -hmm. So we've talked yeah. about that a little bit on the show. I think Kim did a radar on it, and uh, there there is definitely something to it. There are some people take uh, take Paxlovid. Um, if you're, you know, so they prescribe it to you. If if you if you have COVID and you're in an at-risk category, they give you Paxlovid, and then there are some people who they take Paxlovid, they feel better, and then once the I think it's a five-day treatment, and then once they're done with Paxlovid, they they test negative, and then later they test positive again, and then some of those people are actually more sick than they were the first time through. And doctor, this happened to Dr. Fauci. He had COVID just recently, and he said on, on TV, he gave an interview about it, where he appeared to go through what has been described as the Paxlovid rebound. He said that he took Paxlovid, he was very mildly ill, took Paxlovid afterward, tested negative, then tested positive again, and was actually more sick. So Kim pointed out when she discussed this that they really only tested Paxlovid uh, which did have a very dramatic improvement in symptoms, but when it was tested on people who weren't vaccinated at all. They had really not done uh, trials or testing on people who had been vaccinated, so it's not, it's not clear to me it's offering necessarily an improvement for people who are vaccinated. If you're not vaccinated, yes, you know, throw, throw the kitchen sink at this thing. But, uh, but uh, any, anyway, so you, you haven't seen any of that. So I'll, I'll be interested mm -hmm. to see if Biden uh, encounters something similar to that. Yeah. No, I haven't. I've been I've been blessed with not having COVID yet. You haven't had so it yet? Didn't no. So didn't have a chance to take any medicine for it. Is is this is this why you're you're remote you're uh, remote you didn't you didn't want to sit next to possible disease vector Robbie Suave? No, I'm I was willing to come in. I'm going to come in next time hopefully. Yeah. All right, this great. was just the logistics. Yeah. No, great, I don't consider good. you a persona non grata. <laughs> <laughs> well, Biologically speaking, or or uh, culturally. Oh, thank you, thank you. I, I appreciate yeah. that. I'm gonna get canceled now. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna follow me. Uh, yeah, follow. So you're not. Uh, you you wouldn't at the last minute say do a change of venue. No, I you know I I hear you. Uh, but this has to be a yeah. safe space. So I will I will not participate in conversation with Robbie Swab. Right. I will. I appreciate yeah. that.
All right. Well, we, of course, wish, uh, you know, Joe Biden a uh, speedy recovery. So Donald Trump obviously had uh, had COVID uh, right before the it was when was, that was in the fall during the I, mean, yeah. I got it at the the like the Amy Coney Barrett garden party or something that was a right. super spreader event. Super spreader. Yeah. Um, and then recovered. I wonder I wonder when we'll have like ever again a president who doesn't get COVID during his right. terms just because this thing is uh, is going to be with us. So, yeah. Anyway, very and I do want to say re really quickly that I'm sure there are a lot of people who often this is kind of people think this is like an own like of someone who got vaccinated like, oh, look, they got it anyway. No one's saying that you won't get it. But it is what right. it does really deal with at this point, right, is how severe your reaction is or right. how severe your well, they did are, say so. at the beginning, right, that if you're vaccinated, you were extremely unlikely to get it. And that uh, I remember watching that. I mean, that's what that's what, you know, many experts said. So I believe that to be true. And then it, it seemed like it was true for a little while. And then it was like, well, there's going to be breakthrough cases. Like, oh, there's going to be a lot of right, breakthrough cases. Variants. Then it's going to be, oh, yeah. every single person who has the vaccine will eventually get a breakthrough case. Right. right. Uh, um, do you think it, it affects it. Biden's image uh, at all as you know, there's so much so much concerns about his health and his maybe maybe his, his mental <laughs> right, his cancer. Yeah. He has cancer. And uh, obviously he does not have cancer. Or, or if he does, right. hasn't disclosed it, despite that statement right. he made. Do you think it it it, it will further solidify uh, fairly or not? You know, it's a, an image that people have that like, you know, he's old and he's weak oh, and he's okay. not kind of up to the job. No, I think that honestly, this is one of those things that people who already dislike Biden or people who don't like who are maybe what, what would I call them? Uh, COVID skeptics are just going to see this as proof that it's all a, a, a trick and a hoax, that COVID's a hoax and they'll see it as uh, his just desserts. And then people who support Biden will just say, look, uh, he got vaccinated and boosted and thank God and he's going to be OK. Uh, in terms of people thinking that, that he looks frail, I kind of feel like the people who would think that aren't going to see the COVID as a sign of that, given how mm -hmm. contagious it is. Yeah, I agree with that. All right. Well, well, we'll, we'll have we'll, to see what his response is like. We'll have to see what the symptoms are like. Yeah, we'll have to. I mean, if, obviously, if it gets much sicker, I think I think that would genuinely be bad. Uh, for, obviously, it would be bad for him if he gets much sicker. It, right. He could actually be right. at some risk, and it would you know it would make it look like um, that that he's maybe not up to the job. But uh, but presumably right. and hopefully Whereas, he won't have that reaction. Yeah, Tr Trump being Trump, of course, he kind of as as bad as as it was in some ways because he was so dismissive of taking precautions. I do feel like with him, he had it either way. You know, he'd either have mild symptoms and they would have said, look, you see, it's who cares about the uh, masks or because if he had had strong symptoms, they would have been like, well, look at how robust he is. And as long as you're healthy, you're not going to die from it. Mm -hmm. But with Biden, it's slightly different calculation. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll continue to report on this if there's any new developments with Biden's health situation. And we'll be back with more Rising in just a minute.